YouTube, it's your boy Greg back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, we talk about Frank's related topics, so if there's something that you're interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload. Alright, guys, so today this video is going to be a little bit different than most of my videos. This video is going to be about fragrances that paint a picture, like legit paint a picture. And for you guys who are new to the fragrance community, you know, a fragrance can always smell good. Um, but at the end of the day, it's kind of like this, man. If it can paint a picture that really makes you feel good, makes you feel relaxed, makes you feel confident, if it really just puts you in a nice place, a nice mindset, that fragrance most likely is worth buying, in my opinion. So that's what I compose this list of today, just fragrances that I have that actually paint a picture. And if you like the picture that it paints for me, these fragrances might actually be something that you're actually interested in. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so the first fragrance we're gonna talk about is from the house of Initio Parfums, and it's Musk Therapy. The picture that this paints for me is being at an outdoor spa, right? And then you go and they have two separate jacuzzis just for you, right? One jacuzzi is gonna have, you know, some lukewarm water with maybe some lemon, some grapefruit, and some oranges just sliced and threw in the water, right? Maybe some Epsom salt or something like that and you just kind of sit in that and soak for a little bit. Just really letting your skin soak and marinate in that lukewarm water with those citruses, right? And then you hop out of that one and then you get into the other jacuzzi. Now this jacuzzi is gonna be what I call an extremely soothing milk bath with the magnolia flowers just kind of spread out on top of the milk, man, I'm telling you, and you just submerge your entire body in there and just relax and just get into a nice calming mode. You know what I'm saying? And then your mind just goes into a nice, relaxing, calm place where nothing else matters, man. Like you're legit just in your own zone. Nothing's bothering you. You're just literally relaxing, soaking in that milk bath with those florals just floating on top of there. Giving you that five star spa experience, you know what I'm saying? That's what I get from this, guys. I mean, that is exactly what I get from it. You know, it does, it starts out, you know, pretty clean, pretty citrusy, and then it starts to dry down into those creamy musks and those white florals. This is such a beautiful, relaxing fragrance, guys. And the name Musk Therapy, really really fits this fragrance man so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in or a setting that you feel like you would enjoy i would definitely definitely recommend trying out must therapy all right so the next fragrance we're going to talk about is from the house of john barbados and it's artisan pure now the picture that this fragrance paints for me is imagine you out with the family right like maybe at the park at the lake or something like that Maybe, you know, you all dressed alike. Maybe just a white tee, maybe some nice bright colored shorts, you know, something like that. You got a picnic going, you know, maybe some sandwiches, some chips, some lemonade, some orange juice, whatever you like to drink, right? And you're just enjoying watching the kids play while adults getting the food and stuff ready. Maybe even got the grill going. And if you're by the lake, man, you're just kind of looking at the water, listening to it as it flows. That's what this fragrance paints to me, man. It's just nice. It's clean, it's citrusy, it's fresh, but it's very, very like outdoorsy in my opinion. That's what I picture when I smell this. You know, like I said, just like a nice picnic, you know what I'm saying? Wearing a white shirt, just really relaxing under the sun, just enjoying some good food, enjoying the lake, enjoying the family, man. So that's what John Barbados Artisan Pure paints to me, guys. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would recommend trying this out. All right, so the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is from the house of Christian Dior, and it's Bois de Argent. Now, the picture that this fragrance paints with me is actually a little bit funny because when I first smelled this fragrance, I immediately thought money, like it just smelled like money to me, but not literally like money. It just smells like if you're out, you're shopping, out and about, you know, not dressed up, 
you know, not dressed down, but just kind of right there in the middle. You know, maybe if you're a lady, maybe you got a little sundress on or something like that, you know, with your sunglasses or if you're a fella, maybe you got like a polo kind of tucked in, the short shorts with the sandals. That's kind of what I visualize when I smell this. You know, being out shopping at a store like Christian Dior or Gucci or Louis Vuitton, that's what this smells like to me. You know, you're just out and about shopping, spending money, you know what I'm saying, enjoying that life, you know what I'm saying, treating yourself, maybe treating your partner, you know, maybe even buying some stuff for the family, for the kids. That's what this smells like to me. This is a beautiful, elegant fragrance, but it's not so elegant to where you can't wear it on multiple occasions. Like you can wear this out and about. Like I said, that's what I visualize when I smell this. So that's a picture that you feel like you like, you know, being out, shopping, spending some money, having a good time. Man, I'm telling you, try it, boys, the Argent. All right, so the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is from the house of Cree, and it's Virgin Island Water. Now this right here, probably paints the best picture for me because man ain't nothing like being on a beach right ain't nothing like being on a beach you know sunbathing going out there getting in the water feeling your toes in the sand right ain't nothing like that in my opinion like man that is a good time for me and that's what i get from this man just being out in a caribbean island guys i'm telling you and just really relaxing relaxing walking on the sand listening to the water just walking in the water man i'm saying just enjoying that nice tropical um vibe and that's what you get from this you know it does have the lime it does have the coconut man so that already should paint the picture you know if you like to drink imagine just laying on the beach laid back you know what i'm saying with the sunglasses on just drinking you something that's real nice that's the picture that this paints of me. It's just a nice, relaxing, good time on the beach, you know, in a tropical setting, guys. And that, for me, is a great time, man. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you, check out Virgin Island Water. All right, so the next fragrance we're going to talk about is from the house of BDK, and it's Creme de Cure. Now, this fragrance right here is what I consider to be one of those calming, soothing, relaxing fragrances. Simply because it does have like a balsamic resinous sweetness to it, but it's not a gourmandish type of fragrance. It is one of those fragrances that just really calm you down. So the picture that this paints for me is like, I think I've said this before in a video, but it's like legit. Being out, man, just joyriding. Just being out on the highway, right? Got the top down, got some smooth jazz playing or some nice R&B playing, man. And I'm telling you, just cruising. That is the picture that this paints to me. And I, I really don't know why, but it's just such a nice, relaxing, soothing fragrance. And if that sounds like a situation you'd want to be in, check out Creme de Cure. Last but not least is a fragrance that I recently bought not too long ago. And I enjoy this fragrance so much. Like sometimes I have to stop myself from wearing it so much because you know I want to try out the other fragrances, give other fragrances the chances in my collection, guys. But this fragrance right here is just something special. And it's from the house of Zaharoff and it's signature rose. Now, this fragrance right here paints an amazing picture to me, guys. And the picture that this paints for me is just imagine being out on a date, guys. I mean a nice luxurious expensive date man where the lights are dim you got that nice classical music playing in the background or r b but just anything that's smooth and calming and relaxing and can really put you you know in that mood you know what i'm saying and just imagine some roses sitting right there in the center of the table man you dressed all nice got a nice tux on your girl got a nice dress on and you guys are just vibing conversating drinking some wine you know what i'm saying and imagine your favorite song comes on right and then you both get up and then you start to dance you know you pull your girl close to you and you can feel that warmth from her she can feel that warmth from you man and that is the picture that just paints with me because you're getting those those rose aromas right there from the table and then it starts to get sweet it starts to warm up that signifies when you guys come together and really start to mesh really start to connect in a way that only you and her can connect man and that is what this fragrance paints for me guys so that sounds like a situation you want to be in definitely try out signature rose all right guys so that's going to wrap up this video i hope you enjoyed it the purpose of me doing this was to kind of veer off from just talking about notes and all of that kind of stuff 
and just kind of paint a picture for you guys. You know, sometimes that's the best way to describe a fragrance to people who are not familiar with notes and stuff like that. So what I want you guys to do is pick one fragrance, just one, Go down in the comment section and describe the picture that it paints for you. Hey, and if you are a YouTuber that makes uh, fragrance review videos, I want you to actually do a video like this. I would love to hear other people's uh, visuals that they get when they smell particular fragrances, guys. So if you like the video, go ahead and give your boy a thumbs up and that's it. Take care.